welcome to another Players to Watch episode, and today we're looking at budget goalkeepers. So we'll begin by looking at four goalkeepers that I think are worth a mention, but not necessarily the very best options. Gomez was a great option last year, he made more saves than any other keeper, and Watford did alright for clean sheets too, especially at home. They managed a total of 11 throughout the season. Adrian is also worth a mention. West Ham also kept 11 clean sheets, but a couple were when Adrian was missing through injury. Manone is a decent 4.5 option. He only secured a starting place partway through the season, but four of the seven clean sheets that Sunderland kept last season were with him in goal. But there are big question marks over the Sunderland defence now that Sam Allardyce has left to take over as England manager. Fabianski was another decent option last season, only missed one game, and all nine of Swansea's clean sheets came with him in goal. Similar to Watford, Swansea are a team that kept much more clean sheets at home than away, so that's something to consider if you like to rotate keepers. One goalkeeper who hasn't made the list but is worth noting is Hull backup Eldin Jakupovic. Priced at 4 million and looks set to start the season due to an injury to first choice keeper McGregor, unless Hull sign a replacement. But moving on to four budget goalkeeper options that I rate slightly higher, Foster, Butland, Schmeichel and Forster. All of these keepers are fixture proof to the extent that their teams are solid defensively most of the time, home and away. I think it's hard to ignore Foster as a 4.5 option, he'd almost certainly be 5 million had he not missed the majority of last season through injury. But West Brom are a team that play tactics suited to keeping clean sheets, they managed a total of 11 last season, and that's quite low compared to what they've managed in recent years. Butland was very highly owned last season, prior to his injury. He has the best points per game from any of the budget goalkeepers, in fact Petr Cech is the only starting goalkeeper with a higher points per game. So Butland understandably gets a mention here. Schmeichel helped steer Leicester to the title last season with 15 clean sheets. Leicester had a shaky start defensively, but really tightened things up towards the end. But there will be question marks over their defence now that Kante has left. And finally, Fraser Forster is in there. Similar to Ben Foster, he missed the start of the season and was only able to play 18 games, but he went on that very impressive run of clean sheets, and 6 of Southampton's 12 clean sheets were achieved with Forster in goal. So now I'm going to move on to my top 3 budget goalkeepers. Fraser Forster is in there at number 3. Points per game wise, he's pretty much on par with Schmeichel, but the reason I've given the Southampton keeper the nod is because Leicester have some decent defenders available for 5 million. Wes Morgan for example, so there's already a cheap way into the Leicester defence. At Southampton, the nailed on defenders are all 5.5, Font, Van Dijk and Bertrand. There's a chance that Cedric may become nailed on this season, but Forster is certainly less of a gamble if you want a cheap way into the Saints defence to start with. At number 2 it's Jack Butland. He improves on Forster's points per game, 4.3 compared to 3.8, and also beats him for saves per game as well, 3.3 compared to Forster's 2.9. So on a purely statistical basis, Butland looks the better option for a goalkeeper priced at 5 million. But the number one budget option for me has to be Ben Foster. Priced at 4.5 million, he's cheaper than Butland and Forster, and there's not a huge difference in terms of his stats. 3.7 points per game compared to 4.3 from Butland and 3.8 from Forster. I also think that Forster would have a higher points per game had he played more games. I don't feel like the 15 game sample is enough to accurately compare him to Butland, who played double the amount of games. West Brom kept 11 clean sheets last season, compared to only 10 kept by Stoke, and Forster is a slightly better goalkeeper than West Brom's backup Myhill, who filled in for most of their games last season due to Forster's injury. So that suggests to me that if Foster was in goal for the entire season, he may well have improved on those 11 clean sheets. I'm a big fan of West Brom in general when it comes to defensive options in FPL. Pulis is a manager who often prioritises keeping clean sheets, and that's why Ben Foster is my number one budget keeper to watch this season. So thanks for watching, let me know in the comments whether you agree or disagree with my picks, and tell me which goalkeepers you're considering for your team. Check out the other preseason content on the channel so far and keep an eye out for more videos next week.